Katie, you've been a joy all my life, honey. Love you. MJ, good boy. MJ asked me for Katie's hand, which I thought was very outstanding. And I said, MJ, you're a great guy. like you a lot. But I don't think so. <laughs> I, I want my grandchildren a little taller. <laughs> he said he'd work on it. <laughs> Enjoy the wedding. Cherish the marriage. Nostrovia. MJ, since the moment you've walked into my life, you have been a most pleasant surprise. Thinking back to the times our paths have crossed, which led us to the one New Year's Eve weekend that started it all. We've had amazing times, great adventures, and countless of laughs. Even when times haven't been so easy, having you by my side has made every battle seem effortless. You've become my best friend and my person. I've dreamt of this day and the man of my dreams my whole life. And to now be standing in front of you, it is finally a dream come true. Although reality has been much sweeter than I could have dreamed because you have surpassed any expectation I've had in a partner. The little things you do, <laughs> like tooting when you pee or, <laughs> or passing out before me, but always making sure you wake up and say I love you before I go to bed. Who knew these would be the things that make me fall in love with you more? You're the most loving, patient, and driven and caring man I've ever met. You continue to impress me by bettering yourself, and you've taught me to do the same. With you, I know I'll never have to do anything on my own. I know I'll be cared for and protected. I know I'll be supported and loved for the rest of my life. To you, I promise to support your dreams, ambitions, and goals. I promise to cover your half and more on the days that you need it. I promise to keep the fun and adventure in our relationship. And I promise to let you know how much you are loved, appreciated, and respected every day of our lives. And thank you for being you, and thank you for being mine. We are the dream team. I love you. Catherine, I cannot believe this day has finally come. I'm so happy to finally call you my wife and timestamp our next adventure together in this wild life. I've always dreamed of this day, but never thought I would be lucky enough to find someone as amazing as you. I knew you were the one a long time ago, but the time and distance apart while you were in Traverse City made it very clear how much you mean to me and that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason, and I cannot be more thankful that you randomly walked into my life at a time when I needed it most. As we continue to grow both together and as individuals, I promise that I will always be there by your side through thick and thin. I promise to help you follow your dreams no matter how big or small. Your goals and dreams are now my goals and dreams. I will always do whatever it takes for you to achieve them. I will never stop dating you and will continue our adventures no matter how big, small, serious, or silly they are. Although I do not know what it looks like now, but I am so excited to continue building our everlasting foundation for only our relationship, our marriage, and our family to grow from. You are my best friend, and I could not imagine walking through this crazy life with anyone else. I promise to love you and to respect you as much as I possibly can for the rest of my life, no matter how hard or easy it may be at times. I promise to grab your butt when we're walking, when we're old and wrinkly. Pump your gas, open your doors, and show you every day how much you mean to me. I love you, Catherine, and I will continue to love you more and more each day for the rest of our lives.
MJ and Katie, today you join yourselves in marriage. There's a vast and unknown future stretching out before you. Today you enter as individuals, but you'll leave here as husband and wife. Your lives are blending and you're expanding the ties of your family and your friends. My advice to you both is very simple and it's this, keep doing exactly what you've been doing. From the beginning of your relationship, it's been obvious that you two are perfect for each other. You bring the energy out of each other and the fun out of each other. You motivate each other to be the best version of yourselves and you do that every day. MJ, Katie quickly found that you're the kindest person she's ever met. Katie fell in love with your kindness as well as your level-headedness and your constant motivation to better yourself and to better one another. You also fit in so easily with Katie's family and her friends and Katie loves that about you. Continue to be Katie's rock Continue to work hard for everything that you want to accomplish and continue to lead with kindness like you always do. Katie, today you're lucky enough to become part of one of the most loving and hilariously funny families I've ever had the chance to meet. As your two families come together as one, continue to put your family first in your lives. MJ fell in love with the fact that you're so genuine and he always knows where he stands with you. You're so fun and adventurous, but at the same time you have goals as well and you're determined to achieve them. Continue being sporadic, shaking things up. Continue injecting excitement and enjoyment into both of your lives. And continue to fearlessly chase your dreams. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. <laughs> and whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world for beautiful. You are my world, my true. And it's you are whatever a moon has always meant and whatever sun will always see is you. Here's the deepest secret nobody knows. Here's the root of the roots and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that keeps the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. We come now to the words MJ and Katie want to hear the most today. The words that take them across the threshold from being engaged to being married. A marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It's a promise made to exclude all others, and it's entered into with the hope that it will last a lifetime. MJ, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Katie in marriage? If so, answer I do. I do. Katie, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to MJ in marriage? If so, answer I do. I do. MJ and Katie, having heard that it is your intention to be married to each other, I now ask you to declare your, your marriage vows. MJ, please repeat after me. I, MJ Fabus. I, MJ Fabus. Take you, Katie Jablonski. Take you, Katie Jablonski. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with yours. And build our dreams together. And build our dreams together. I will support you through times of trouble. I will support you through times of trouble. And celebrate with you in times of happiness. And celebrate with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. I promise to give you love, respect, and loyalty. Close enough. <laughs> this commitment is made in love. This commitment is made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And made new every day of our lives. And made new every day of our lives. Katie, please repeat after me. I, Katie Jablonski. I, Katie Jablonski. Take you, MJ Fabus. Take you, MJ Fabus. To be my husband. Be my husband. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with yours. And build our dreams together. And build our dreams together. I will support you through times of trouble. I will support you through times of trouble. And celebrate with you in times of happiness. And celebrate with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. This commitment is made in love. This commitment is made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And made new every day of our lives. And made new every day of our lives. And now, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. MJ, you may kiss the bride.
as maid of honor and as a friend of Katie's for the last 14 years, I can't begin to describe how precious this moment really is, not only for all of us, but for these two amazing people. I thank you all for coming today and celebrating these two. I remember when I first met Katie through our past relationships. I knew she was going to be a lifetime friend, so full of life, laughter, and has one hell of a heart of gold. She is the true definition of a my person. I have a favorite memory of Katie and I when we were floating down the river and we came up to this bridge to jump off. <laughs> the moment we climbed to the top and looked down, we grabbed hands and agreed on three we would jump. Both nervous as hell, we took a leap and jumped in, only to be coming up still holding hands and laughing. To this day, Katie is still holding my hand. <laughs> That's Katie, though. When she decides to keep you in her life, that's what she does. She grabs your hands and holds tight, just like she has with you from day one, MJ. Please raise your glasses and help me congratulate these two lobsters who found each other. Mr. and Mrs. Favis of 2023, I wish you nothing but the absolute best. Congratulations. To start this speech, I'm gonna have Taylor assist me with a few props that represent Katie and I's relationship. They may not look like they go together, but they are the essentials. A bottle of tequila and a bottle of ranch dressing. I met Katie five years ago. I initially met MJ first through some mutual friends and he introduced me to Katie. The first time I met Katie was at a pizza party at our house. She came walking down my driveway with cowgirl boots on the outside of her jeans carrying a bottle of ranch dressing. I never would have guessed that this ranch-wielding cowgirl and I were about to become best friends. The next time I met Katie was on a camping trip to the UP. We were rustic camping, middle of nowhere, and Katie says, do you want to do a tequila shot? Now, anyone that knows me, I never say no to shots. Katie proceeds to pull out four glass shot glasses. Now, I remind you, we are rustic camping, no electricity, no self-service, and she thought it was important to pack glass shot glasses. <laughs> Fast forward five years, we have shared many more shots, gym dates, concerts, double dates, girls trips, and many more hangovers than I'd like to remember. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Famous. <laughs> I'm Tanner. I'm from Ohio. Go Bucks. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, I know MJ because we both decided to go to Saginaw Valley and we were bowlers. Okay? Now, now that day, the first day I saw MJ, MJ doesn't remember because I didn't talk to him. He was terrifying. No. I remember seeing him, he was driving uh, Rosie, Red Pontiac, am I right? Okay. He hops out, he's got baseball stickers on the back of his car, tattoos, backwards hat, gauges, wearing a hat, it was actually like Mosta Flames? That's it. Okay. So I see this guy and I'm like, ah, oh, man, I guess the baseball team's in town too, right? And he pops out two, three ball bowling bags. And I was like, ah, man, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if we're like, I don't even know how to talk to a guy like that. I'm like, I'm Hank Jr., baby. Come on. <laughs> so, so turns out I got a best friend out of that situation. If you know MJ, you know MJ is one of the best people in the world. And Katie matches that energy. And I wouldn't want anything different for them. I mean, come on. Like, who's going to walk in and let him go and let him go to metal concerts on a Wednesday and then lift with him in the morning? Like, who's going to do that, right? And he found it. And I am so happy for both of you. And I want everybody to raise a glass, have a drink to them, and celebrate this beautiful day. So I met MJ in fifth grade. Can't tell you the year. There's a lot of beers in between then and there. 
but I remember he had found out that I went and seen Metallica and Godsmack. And uh, I remember showing up to youth football on a Saturday to him going, hey, dude, how was that concert? And I was like, how the hell did he know I went to this concert? So then after that, we became friends because metal. <laughs> and then the next year, about sixth grade, we started youth bowling together. And this is going to drastically start going downhill faster and faster. <laughs> but with that being said, out of all those concerts and all the bands we t dreamed about seeing and finally seeing, they still didn't bring the joy of what I saw today. Yes. So, with that being said, glasses up again to Mr. and Mrs. Fabus and to many more shenanigans around the bonfire, kicking flaming bowling balls. Let's go. Yeah.